Hey guys, it's Barrett with The Gaming Camper. So do you have a diesel truck or Class A and you're looking for a way to be able to get a discount at fuel stations that are relatively easy to access? We're gonna share with you our experiences about the TSD Open Roads Fuel Program. And you know, I'm gonna give you the down and dirty and we're gonna go over our whole fuel bill from Southeast Tennessee to South Dakota and back to Tennessee for our trip that we did this summer. And we're gonna do that right after this. Okay guys, so let's talk about this fuel bill. So that's over 2,700 miles worth of fuel. We use this program exclusively both ways on this trip. And so that we could just share some real world numbers with you. But first let's talk about what TSD actually is. TSD Logistics is a company out of Texas that is actually a freight company. They've created a way to share their fuel card program with the RV community. And they call it Open Roads. So let's go over some common questions people have about the fuel program. Is it really free? Well, there's really no cost to join the program, so essentially it is free. There are some fees associated with it though, which we'll get into in just a minute. So how do you apply for this program? Well, you go on the website, you fill out the application. There will be a link in the description, but it can easily be found by Googling TSD Open Roads. Why does the application ask for personal information? Well, the only way you can pay for the fuel is to link the program to your bank card, your debit card, and they do not allow payments with credit cards. So apparently the reason for this that they state is that the credit cards have higher fees per use. They also have to have a way to find you if for some reason the payment doesn't go through. I mean, think about it. You could charge like 50 gallons of diesel on an account and that's a pretty penny to be liable for. So where does this program allow me to get fuel? Well, the program is linked to with multiple truck stops. All of the locations are truck stops and the card only works in the truck lanes. This means that you should always be able to find access to these areas with relative ease. You know, one thing I'll say about those big truck stops is sometimes it just doesn't make sense how they're set up and like, it's just, the traffic doesn't flow real well through there. And so it can be like a little bit of a pain, but it's definitely easier than trying to squeeze in the automotive side of a gas station. So how do you know where to get fuel and what the prices are? Well, everything's done on the app. So, you know, you can pull the app up, you can pull a map up that'll show you in all of the uh, fuel stations within a few hundred miles of you with the price there. That way you know that this truck stop participates in the program and what the relative price will be. Now, I will tell you that I said before, there are a few fees in with this. So, you know, it's not quite as great as what it looks like there when you're looking, but we'll get into that in just a minute. You know, we usually keep an eye when we're driving uh, about the stations that are relatively close to our plan. In that way, we can make stops um, every few hours and just kind of stay fueled up because we like to get out. You know, we usually only go through about a half a tank of fuel before we get out and stretch our legs. And we just get that and we just fill up probably more often than a lot of people. We don't ever have to worry about being short on fuel and we can always get out and stretch our legs and just kind of rest for a minute. So I do try to keep up with those stops a couple of hours in advance. So that way we have kind of a, an ideal next place to go. And what I do is I look at that map and I'll see, well, the next place is here and the place after that will be this far away. And so that way it kind of allows you to have a plan in your head. I will say that you can click on there for like on my iPhone, it'll show Apple Maps and how to get to the fuel station with Apple Maps. I wish that it just made the address easier to pull up. Sometimes that can be an issue because I try to load it in my Garmin, but you know, because it'll just like have the city in the name of the truck stop, which isn't always the same exact name that you'll find if you try to look it up in like the garment. So is the price really the discounted price? Well, yes and no, because like I've alluded to already, this goes back to the program having fees built in. Yes, it is the price, but you have to pay a fee for each truck stop for using the program. Now this is generally 40 cents at Love's and 65 cents at all other places. Now that's a total fee 
for that aspect of the program. And so that's what the actual fuel station gets. Now that's only a one-time charge for that whole fuel. That's not per gallon or anything like that. Now TSD doesn't do this out of the goodness of their hearts. Obviously they have to make money on this somehow or they wouldn't be doing it, right? So the total amount of your discount is totaled and then they have a surcharge fee that's then 10 percent of your total discount it can be argued that it's still free since it's only a portion of the discount um, but the charges are still there is the card easy to use most of the time it's very easy you just pull up you slide the card in the fuel lane hit your control number which will, they'll send you when they send you the card and you click that and if you're purchasing truck fuel you just click the truck fuel yeah, I think you can buy DEF with it, but you can't buy anything else. And so you just go through all the prompts and then the pump turns on, you get your fuel. And then if you want to go inside, always be cognizant of the truckers around and get your fuel first, then pull forward. There's usually a line where you can pull up one. And then while the trucks behind you is fueling up, you can go in and get a couple of things from the store. Now, some issues that I've run into uh, mainly on this trip to South Dakota and a couple of times since. Even places where it's worked before, sometimes that car just doesn't work at the fuel um, station. But if it's on the app, it's always worked for me. Even places where it's not on the app and doesn't have the price, I've had it work. Um, but it's more and more, and I ran into this more at the, I think it's called Yes Way stations that are more up in the South Dakota region. But the card didn't work at the pump but i had to take it in and when i took it in then they ask you your control number and everything and swipe it i don't like doing that because that kind of holds the truck lane up it's what i told you a while ago you need to be sure to fill your truck up and then pull up and if you go and you fill the truck up you gotta go inside give them a card go back fill the truck up then move it just takes more time and i don't really like doing that but sometimes you're stuck with it because the card won't work and like i say that's been a lot of these uh kind of smaller stations but the speedway that's near my house that has a truck stop built into it i still use this card a lot of times whenever i'm getting fuel there because it's the same price as it is on the other side and you get the discount so i still kind of take my pickup through the truck lane sometimes but it's always worked there until the last time that i needed it and i went to use it there and it didn't work i had to take it inside and let them swap it so i don't know what the deal is with that now is it worth it well you know while it's not quite as great as those awesome discounts that they show up on the fuel rate on the app after the fees it still does add savings now one thing to remember is that these are all truck stops and the prices may be a little bit higher than they are at other stations. At the same time, you don't have the stress of trying to figure out if you're gonna fit in these other stations and how hard it is to get fuel there and stuff like that. So the discount and prices do seem to be a lot higher. Um, I'll say the discounts at least are higher whenever those uh, fuel prices are crazy high. And so it makes a lot more of a difference then um, obviously those aren't times that are great to travel, but we don't adjust our plans based on the fuel process. So sometimes that bites us a little bit. I'll say that on our trip here from, like I say, Tennessee to South Dakota, back to Tennessee, we saved an average of 7% on fuel, which isn't bad. So how are these fees charged to my bank? Well, at the pump, it displays the price. You'll get an email a couple of days later that was titled settlement summary that one kind of threw me off at first it's settlement summary for check date and then i'll have the date on there this actually shows your charges you know you can also see this information in the app as long as you go in and you link your tsd card with the app i actually didn't do that till i went on this trip because i was trying to figure out how i've seen other videos where people actually show you know the screenshots and i was trying to figure that out but i i finally did get that one and it's real easy to do you just have to go in there and hit link all right so let's talk specific numbers about our trip i have entered all my information into a spreadsheet so i can share it with you now in complete transparency some of these numbers got a little bit crunched around and changed a little bit as i believe it's due to the you know those sneaky extra digits that they add into those fuel prices you know 399 none um because i did the math here you know there's 
penny or two off in a couple of places but i thought i had screenshots of like showing what the actual price was on the app on all these stops and somehow i missed a few of them so it's what i had to resort to in calculating the price at a lot of these anyway it didn't change much but it did change a little bit so i just wanted to be like totally transparent with you about that so in total on this trip we used 249.94 gallons of diesel and that's a non-discounted cost of $897.28. The total charges from the fuel stations for their 40 cent to 65 cent charges was $7.45. And the total discounts on the fuel without the uh, surcharges that we talked about before was $78.04. All right, so I had to verify this just now because it I wasn't sure that this was right, but it, it it is right. So the total without the surcharges of the discount was 78.04. And the total surcharges from TSD were $7.82. So this means that the amount that I actually saved when everything was said and done on about 215 gallons of fuel was $62.97 which is 7.01% of that total price of $897 for the non-discounted fuel. Now, one thing that's important to keep in mind is that this was actually done in the summertime um, of 2023 when fuel was actually coming down to a tolerable rate overall. You know, the cheapest we found fuel on, with the discount was $3.05 per gallon in Kingdom City, Missouri. The full price of the fuel was only $3.34 there at that time. The most expensive fuel that we got um, with the discount was at Love's in Marion, Illinois, which was $3.73 with a discount and had a full non-discounted price of $3.98. The largest per gallon discount that we got during this trip was in uh, Jolton, Tennessee, at 65 cents a gallon off and this took the price from 369 a gallon to 313 a gallon so to sum things up is this program going to save you a ton of money it will save you quite a bit but it's not quite as much as it appears on as face value when you're looking at the app because you do remember you have to have those fees at the end i'm happy with it so far it works pretty good with our travel style we're going to keep using it I've not really, you know, used any of these other things like the mud flap app. I was kind of late on this train too. Um, so I've not used any of that stuff. I might look into that kind of to use, you know, in conjunction with this, but I'll continue to uh, support the TSD open roads program for now, because like I say, it saves us a little bit of money and we don't have to worry about if we're going to fit in a fuel station. We always know where we're going to go. It kind of works with our specific travel style really well and you know i really like it the other option you know is always using like gas buddy and i did that without the trailer on a trip to michigan you know within the last year and i would say that it was only accurate one place that i stopped and i would like make special arrangements just because it was like 45 cents cheaper than the surrounding areas and then i would go to the gas station and it would be the same price so that aggravates the heck out of me um, i just keep using this program for now and i want to thank you guys for all following along being part of our family we appreciate your support if you found this helpful please uh, hit those like and subscribe buttons and just support the channel it helps us share this information with more people which will hopefully find it helpful as well do not forget to hit that subscribe button